So I decided to focus on pretty much the contested imagery, which are the imagery of African Americans and the, the lone Native American. So I thought, let me actually lift those from the mural and actually place them, use them in the vestibule. So at first I was first thinking about the vestibule as it's such a grand statement to have a vestibule. It's like you're walking into a space that has a, that you're supposed to realize you're walking to something, a place that's hollowed halls, sacred, there's a reverence, there's a reason why you have the columns in the front in this vestibule. So it's, it's a transitory space in it, but it's also a space for you to kind of almost prepare, it's a threshold preparing you for what enters. So for me, the idea like you're preparing you to go into that lecture, even if the lecture is boring, it's a potential for you to kind of gain knowledge and how like wondrous is that? Or I think about me, how many, a century ago, I wouldn't have been able to go to school here. So to me, like setting up, how do I use the vestibules of space that it's a transitory space, but how do I have us kind of wrestle with it? How do I kind of recognize it again? So for me, doing projects where I have to kind of dig into a, a known history and realize what I've been taught or what I've, what's been revealed easily on the surface, all of a sudden there's always layers and how can I kind of unearth like the richness of our histories. And it's, not, it's, not a, it's never a singular perspective, there's, there's multiple. How do I use what's literally and physically and concretely in the mural and just make adjustments or make rearrangements or, or change the context to hopefully allow another reading of that mural and what it means today in 2018? I think people were calling for a deeper understanding of our history and how it speaks to us today and how it should inform us. You know, art speaks to you and you speak back to it. They ask us to think anew. And that's uh, what is refreshing about generations of students. And it reminds us of our responsibility not only to listen, but to respond. So the title of the piece is called Witness, and I love the word is both the noun and the verb. So it just seemed like the perfect word where it's, it, it's almost, you could hear witness and it could be like an exclamation point, like a, like a command. Witness could be like a witness, like this, this quiet, subtle washing over you. There is not a man beneath the canopy of heaven who does not know that slavery is wrong for him. To me, that quote is just, it's, it, it, we could just substitute the word slavery for any, other words that, are, that have, have weight with, with the world we're in right now. You have one reading, but who knows? Maybe you came from a religion class and all of a sudden you're considering the dome ceiling in a different way. Maybe you came from an economics class, you might be considering the goal. So I like the idea that the piece is, and you can have your initial reaction to it, but my hope is that it's gonna, there's enough there in the specificity, but also in the juxtaposition and the contextualization that's gonna allow different readings based on the moment. Maybe something happens in, on campus that is charged that could point to something here. So even though this is a mural from how long ago, I'm hoping seeing this repositioning would, would allow an individual intimate experience with it, but also what, is it, what does it say about who I am as a citizen of the world, you know?